1996, Dr. Jonathan Reed went to look for his dog in the woods near his house. When he found the dog, it was attacking a small, four-foot, alien-looking creature. The dog ended up being disintegrated. Dr. Reed took a tree branch and hit the creature on the head. This is the story of one of the biggest internet hoaxes ever. But is it really a hoax? Dr. Reed went on the Coast to Coast program with Art Bell a number of times. The story goes as following, uh, as we mentioned in the beginning, that he went to look for his dog. An alien creature he came across um, disintegrated his dog, and Dr. Reed hit the alien in the head with a tree branch. After that, he began to film. Many of you may have seen this footage already, but I wanted to play this footage in context of whether this is a hoax or not. So, this first part is directly after the attack of the alien. You can see Dr. Reed is fiercely out of breath, even sounds like he vomits a little bit there, and then takes uh, a video of the unconscious alien. What I would like to point out initially here is what jumps out to me um, is in this first part is that there's a little there's a little jump cut in there so that's my first um, bit of suspicion um, it could have been the, the video maybe dropping frames because we do see in the upcoming footage of some interference by the obelisk that he then finds next Some people said the audio didn't distort. You could hear there the audio does, doesn't need distort. <laughs> Unless Dr. Reed just uh, turned into a devil or Come on, work. 
He's saying that because we can actually see in the viewfinder that this distortion is occurring. Concerned that nothing is being recorded. With this footage, uh, what jumps out to me is the seemingly over dramatic breathing. If you're really breathing that hard, you're basically hyperventilating and uh, you probably pass out. Now, granted, you're going to see something strange. You're going to have uh, a little bit of time of probably breathing really heavy and if you're trying to run around to uh, capture as much video evidence as possible, you're going to be breathing heavy. But it seems um, either the person is grossly out of shape or that it's being over dramatic which is a little red flag again it's not proof that it's a hoax um, but it seems a little seems odd but you know seeing an alien craft and an alien being and it vaporizing your dog would cause some stress and unusualness uh, and you see the distortion in the video that's not necessarily easy to fake um, the other thing is the obelisk. All of the evidence looks good on this old type of video where it's all grainy and blurry. Now the obelisk looks, looks very convincing there. But it also seems very small, so it doesn't seem like it's a craft that uh, would fit the alien. So it's uncertain to me when I look at it going, is that a craft that the alien came from or is that... Um, like a drone that the alien walks around with. It's a little unclear. After filming the obelisk, Dr. Reed proceeded to go back to the alien body and decided to wrap it in a thermal blanket and take it home. He then put it into uh, a freezer, hoping that it would preserve the, the alien body um, so that he could examine it later. Uh, he didn't want it to decompose uh, while he was storing it. Um, it is said that he then went on to say that uh, at some point in the night he heard scratching and clawing uh, from inside the freezer. And this is, adds an element of being a little suspicious because um, as you'll see in the next video, the alien is still very injured and unconscious and still wrapped up in a blanket and strapped. So I'm not sure how it kind of got up and started scratching and making a whole bunch of noise. Um, that's one of the uh, post-incident odd parts of the story. Uh, he then later, of course, um, opened the freezer and took out the body and examined it. As you'll see some of the parts here. Examine it. With the alien body footage, it would uh, look like there's great detail in, in the head. And the blinking and the audible gurgling noises all 
had very credibility. Uh, I will say, and I was going to hold this to the end, but uh, there's something in there that uh, jumps out to me that uh, makes me suspicious. So we'll go over to the end. But, well, no, I'll say it here. It's really the body, the legs, and the hands, or the arms. It just looks like uh, some paper mache or something, or uh, a suit stuffed with a newspaper, crumpled up newspaper. And that really leads to less credibility in my eyes. And that's really what jumps out to me most about this whole thing being a hoax. But as I said at the beginning of the video and in the title of this video, is it really a hoax? I mean, we don't know what alien physiology would be like, maybe. Its limbs are, uh, that's what it looks like. And it's not, uh, muscular like ours. However, the neck and the head would lead to believe that the rest of the body should be like that as well. Um, but, uh, like everyone else, I thought this was probably just uh, a hoax, as it was proven to be a hoax, mostly by the show fact or fiction but there has been a little bit of rebuttal here over at capper site uh, youtube channel and i'll link in the description below about the video that i'm talking about does a little bit of analysis of someone who came in and compared the fact or fiction um, recreation that identifies as hoax and there is some interesting things that come up So that's the original? Notice the guttural noises. I was going to say that! Coming from the creature as Dr. Reed turns the head. He also opens the mouth unlike fact or faked. The ob obelisk seems to absorb the sunlight. Absorb the light. Yeah, that's true, right? But I did say in the in the original video, I said you can actually see it reflecting the sun, like the sky, if you look back at my original video. And there's something on here as well. Let me just uh, let me get further on, and I'll tell you. But it does look totally different though, right? It does look totally different. The state of that. In the video uh, rebuttal, they go into analyze a little bit more in detail. And I don't want to show the whole thing. You can check out his, his video that I linked below. Um, and then the original video you do see a lot of veins and more detail and the blinking in the eyes in the original and the recreation doesn't have that you also see how they suspended the obelisk in the uh, fact or fiction one and there is a video that he shows of uh, dr reed taking a full kind of 360 degree of it and it becomes very compelling what exactly is this? Is it really a hoax? Or was it real? Now, again, I come back to the one thing that is glaringly obvious to me. There's two things in this whole, whole story of what I've shown you. Is the body of the alien looks incredibly fake to me. Uh, and that's just... I mean, it could be explained by different alien physiology, but it doesn't match with what the head is. And also, the sort of overacting, or appearance of overacting, uh, by the hyperventilating Dr. Reed in the original video. Um, you would think there would be more of, uh, what the hell is that? But, you know, each person is different and going to react different ways. So that's only evidence of what I suspect of being it, fake. Now, would I love for this to be real? Yes. Um, could it actually be real? Yes, um, but I would say it's more of uh, an effective hoax, a uh, very well done hoax, 
if anything, I lean towards that it is a hoax. Um, but you never know because that obelisk is the same description of the obelisk or craft that was seen in the Rendlesham Forest incident, a topic we haven't discussed yet. Uh, a, say, a similar uh, craft was uh, apparently touched and uh, saw hieroglyphics on there. Now, uh, I'm not here to debunk. You know, if you've watched this channel, my feeling on debunking. Uh, I wanted to kind of show you some of the evidence that I saw looking at this, at this case. Um, I remember seeing this years ago and kind of going along with the debunking. But is it possible that it's real? Is it possible that this, out of all the other things, is the one real piece of evidence? Because the similarity between the two crafts lends one to believe or wonder. I don't know. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like this one. And I'll talk to you next time.